Welcome. In this quick video tutorial, we are going to see how we can extend the tracking period in our PTO Manager Excel template. The PTO Manager Excel template is designed to track and manage PTO balances for employees in a small business. And in this template, the default tracking period is two years. And we are going to see a quick six step process by which we can extend that tracking period. So now let's get started. So this is our Excel template. I'm using a, an empty or a blank copy of the template. And what we're going to do is to just quickly go into what the start date is and what it means because it's, it's an important aspect of the tracking period. So the template is designed so that you can use this to track any period. For example, it doesn't have to be uh, your current year. For example, right now we are in 2018. It doesn't have to be 2018. You can enter any date here. So for example, the default is January 1st, 2018, but I can enter something like you know, April 1st, 2018. So you can customize it. So there are two things that happen with the start date because of the start date. First, the balances of the employees before this date should be entered in the employee sheet. For example, here we have April 1st, 2018. In the employee sheet, you have to enter the starting balances as of 31st March, that is one day before. So if we know that the balance, the one day before was this, and the template will now use this and say, hey, we are starting with the balance of this for all these employees. And then the second impact of the start date is, all the PTO data from April 1st, 2018 should be entered here. So those are the two things. Again, I'll, I'll repeat it again. Um, the first thing is the starting balance as of the day before the start date should be entered here. And the all the PTO data from the start date, from April 1st in this case, should be entered here. This is how the template is able to calculate the current balance correctly. And this ensures that you can migrate all the data on the balances of your employees, um, which you may have already tracked using some other method. Now you can easily migrate them over to this template. So this allows uh, companies with existing employees and balances also to use our template without any problems. Okay, now let's go back to the start date again. And the start date can be any date, as I mentioned, it can also be a date in the past. So for example, you can start tracking from um, 2017. So in this case, what this means is you will have to enter the, all the PTO data, PTO data from January 1st, 2017 in this time off sheet. If you have that detailed data, then you can choose to enter them here and have the start date as 2017. So that means you can also go back to the past to track data. Okay, now there is a limit on the duration you can track by default in this template. So in order to illustrate, I'm gonna put 2010. If I go to the PTO report sheet, and I'm gonna choose an employee. Um, we didn't enter the hire date for that employee, so I'm gonna quickly enter the hire date. And so now what you're seeing is the employee has been hired, was hired on January 1st, 2010. We are tracking this template from 2010, January 1st, but then the current balance is not getting calculated. And that's because of the two year limitation. Now we are already in the ninth year or so, and that's why uh, the template is not calculating anything. So. You can also see in another place in the trend chart, you will see that the chart stops with 2011, December 31st. That's again, two years of tracking is all that is allowed in by default. But we will see in this video, a quick process by which you can extend that tracking period for many years. Okay, now, now we can see where the limitation is and how it will appear. Now we're going to do a six step process. The first step is to back your file up. So make sure that you save um, as another, you know, give a different file name and make a archive copy of the template. And this is important because um, we recommend saving your data on a regular basis uh, in archived files. 
so that you don't lose any of the data. If in case your latest file, you make a mistake, you will always be able to go back to your older file and then recover from there. There is no other backup system for your data. This is a simple Excel file, just like any Excel file you will create in Excel uh, by yourself, this is the same way. So make sure that you back your files up uh, regularly, maybe it's a weekly, uh, depending on how often you enter data, you may want to do daily or weekly archives. Um, and um, in this case, since we're going to make some changes to the to the formulas, it is definitely recommended that you save before you move forward. Okay, let's assume that you've already saved a, an archived a copy. And now let's continue with the step number two, which is right click uh, anywhere. You can click on any of the sheet names and then right click and choose unhide. And we're going to click on the CAL, CAL. This is the calculation sheet and click OK. So now we can see all the calculations that drive the PTO balance calculations and PTO manager template. Now, the, the we're going to go, the third step is to go to the end of the table. And um, what you can do is click or press Control and End key. And this will automatically take you to the end of the table. As you can see here, we have calculations going for 731 days. That is the that is why that is the limit or the default limit. And now what we're going to do uh, is extend this. This is the critical step. So in order to show this, for example, you can see we have this and this is the end edge of the table. And when you hover your mouse over here, um, it allows you to actually it changes the cursor changes to double arrowed or double edged arrow. And now what we're going to do is to click and then drag. And then we're going to keep dragging. And roughly around 3000. Uh, because we want to do it for let's say 10 years. So we could go a little faster. So the whole point is that as we extend these calculations, the template will um, is increasing the tracking period for us in PTO. So let's say we go close to this and I'm going to stop here just to see how far we have come. And it says that we are right now 2019 March. So let's say we want to go uh, until the end of 2019. I think we might have crossed it already. Let's stop here. Okay. So essentially this is 2019 end. So I can select these right click important thing delete table rows don't use any other method this is the cleanest method and so now we have data all the way up to 2019 december so this is 10 years worth of tracking okay now there's nothing else to do here the step is over the next step is to verify if this calculation change has worked um, through to the pto report and other sheets so i'm going to go to the pto report and here you will see now that the balance is calculated and the tracking goes all the way until 2019, December 31st. That's the last point there. Um, so what this means is that now the template is tracking for 10 years and you can do it for any number of years. Similarly, it doesn't have to be 10. You could do it for five. You can do it by four. Um, the, de the, the reason why by default it is only two years, it's because we um, generally try to make sure that the, the file is small and fast. And so the more the calculations the template has to do, Excel has a tendency to become slower and in terms of response time. And so we want to make sure that it's you know, we build it in such a way that uh, it is fast and um, small in size. And but at the same time, we provide the options to extend for those who want to extend. Um, OK, so that's that's what this is. So you can extend for any number of years. So now that step is over. The next step is to hide the sheet. Right click, hide. And there we go. That's done. Um, and then the last step is to make sure that you save the changes, because if you don't save, you don't hit the save, then all the changes you have made will not be retained. So this is an important step. Click save and and then it's going to take its time to save. And there it is. So now we have a PTO manager template that actually can track for 10 years from any start date that you have.
If you have any questions about the process that we went through, please uh, let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please post them in the comments. If you like such videos and Excel templates, please like and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified of all future videos. Uh, I will put a link to the PTO Manager template in the video description. Thank you very much for watching this video.